Hey guys, this is Philosoph Possum, and earlier today I came across this video where an uber conservative guy is trying to justify his views on illegal immigration. Basically, he's attempting to defend his views on immigration against allegations that they're racist. So yeah, let's get into it. So just to give you a quick profile of the guy we're dealing with here, this guy is like an uber gung-ho conservative. I was browsing through this guy's channel just to kind of get a vague profile of him, and he makes a lot of videos that are very pro-gun, pro-law enforcement, anti-Black Lives Matter, so yeah, very typical conservative stuff. Like his voice even sounds like a stereotypical conservative. Hey guys, AK James 762 here. I guess I need to clarify my views on illegal immigration because I'm getting PMs and comments on my videos and shit saying that I'm a racist for my views on illegal immigration because I made some racist remarks. Now, I don't recall ever making any type of racist remark on YouTube or in general. See, I don't believe this guy is actually racist. I think he's just a typical conservative who's mistaken on a lot of the facts regarding immigration. But I'm going to go into what I believe sh the immigration system should be. The illegal immigration system, all this, you know, illegal immigration bullshit. Here are my thoughts on what the immigration system should be. I am very pro-open borders. I think that as long as someone's not coming here to cause trouble, they should be free to come and go as they please. If you come to this country illegally, if you cross the border, come in from the ocean, on one of the coastlines, whatever. If you come here illegally, you don't file for citizenship, you don't have papers, whatever. You are a criminal. Well, I suppose technically speaking that is true. If you come here illegally, you've technically broken the law, which means you've technically committed a crime, which means you are technically a criminal. But this isn't necessarily a problem. You see, something being illegal doesn't necessarily make it wrong. Something being illegal simply means a politician doesn't approve of it. You see, when people come here quote-unquote illegally, they may be technically violating a politician paper somewhere, but just by coming here, they're not really hurting anybody or violating anybody's rights. As a matter of fact, immigrants do a lot to improve the country. They may very well end up coming here to be productive citizens and work hard and improve things. Now, if an immigrant does come here and do something wrong, then yes, I think they should be held responsible just as anyone else. But simply just coming here, just being here passively, not hurting anybody, isn't in and of itself a crime, or at least it shouldn't be. You have no rights. You don't have the right to fucking breathe in this country. Say what? Without documentation, alright? So I've heard of all the ridiculous things you need a license from the government in order to do in this country, but breathing? Like, the right to breathe is something we rely on government for, according to this guy. Well, sir, do you have your magic documents that give you the permission to breathe? My view on illegal immigrants is if you come here, you have no fucking rights. Why? Aren't they people too? I mean, yeah, just because they're not citizens or they're not from this part of the world doesn't mean they don't have rights. I mean, they're still people at the end of the day. As a conservative, I'm assuming you're a huge fan of the Constitution. You know, the Constitution that says all men are created equal. You know, the Constitution that says that all men are endowed by their creator with unalienable rights. Now, I'm no constitutional law scholar, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't say unless you're from Mexico. The only right you have is right this way, back to your own fucking country. Ha ha, real funny. But in all seriousness, if someone's coming here peacefully, if they plan on being a productive member of society and not committing crimes or anything like that, what's the problem with just letting them come? Like, if someone's coming here to cause trouble or commit crimes, then I agree, they can go back to Mexico. But an overwhelming majority of immigrants aren't coming here to do that. Now, I guess people are saying that I am targeting Mexicans or Hispanics or whatever that are crossing the southern border. No. I don't give a fuck if it's a Mexican, I don't care if it's a fucking an African, a, a German, I don't give a fuck if it's some random ass white dude from Canada that crosses the border illegally trying to live here. I don't care whether you are white, black, brown, yellow, purple, khaki, whatever the hell color you are, or whatever color you think you are, whatever. You're not being singled out. The race, ethnicity is not being singled out. If you are an illegal immigrant, 
Your race does not matter. You are a criminal. So I do agree that being in favor of border restrictions doesn't necessarily make someone racist. I do actually think it's pretty dumb when liberals make that argument. But you need to understand that at the end of the day, there still are quite a few discrepancies in how our border restrictions are enforced. The Canadian border is way less secure than the Mexican border. Canadian immigrants are way less likely to be punished if they overstay their visa. And Hispanics do have a higher chance of being targeted by border enforcement. So I'll agree that being in favor of border restrictions isn't necessarily a racist thing. There still are very clear discrepancies on how we enforce those restrictions that you should be cognizant of. That is the only thing that matters. Criminals in this country should have no rights. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Um, yeah, that's not how that works. People don't lose their rights just because they're suspected of committing a crime. As a matter of fact, there's very important rights that people have when they're suspected of a crime. The right to a fair trial, the right to confront their accuser, the right to legal counsel, the right not to incriminate oneself, the right to be treated humanely while being kept in prison. These are all very important rights that people have when they're dealing with the legal system. Regardless of what your opinion is on immigration, whether you're for or against it, you should at least agree that anyone accused of a crime, whether immigrating here illegally, stealing a candy bar, all the way up to murder. These same fundamental rights should be in place for them as much as anyone else. You should not, we, we shouldn't be wasting our fucking tax dollars putting them in, a, in United States prisons, wasting our, our fucking money on keeping them in our prison system. You are correct, sir! Okay, I agree. Locking people in prison who haven't actually done anything wrong or done anything to hurt anybody is in fact a waste of tax money. Great, I guess we agree then. We need to, if, if we find an illegal immigrant, we should take them and transport them back to their own country. God dang it, dude. You had me and you lost me. I mean, you were on the right track when you recognized that locking people in jail who haven't actually done anything wrong is a waste of tax money, but you still want the government to go after these people and deport them. You don't think that wastes tax money at all? Because first you have to track down these illegal immigrants, you know, figure out who they are. Then you have to determine their country of origin. So it's actually worse than finding a needle in a haystack. It's finding a needle in a haystack and trying to figure out where that needle came from. Then once you've gone through all that trouble, you have to go through the trouble of sending them back to where they're from. All that ain't cheap. As a matter of fact, according to data from ICE, that's the agency responsible for enforcing immigration and customs laws in the United States, it costs roughly two grand per immigrant to deport them. I don't know about you, but I can think of a multitude of different ways to spend two grand better than sending someone away who hasn't actually done anything wrong. To a prison, not just drop them off at the border or whatever. Take them to a prison in their country and drop them off at that prison. I will say this guy is actually slightly smarter than the average border control advocate because he at least does recognize that when you just deport people and send them back to their country, more often than not, all they do is come back. And tell the, that country, this, this person was an illegal immigrant to our country, administer whatever punishment you would for someone who is an illegal immigrant in your country. Not gonna happen! No, not gonna happen! <laughs> So what makes you think that they'd care? Like if you went up to the Mexican government and said, hey, one of your citizens tried crossing into our country illegally, they'd probably be like, tough shit, that's your problem, not ours. Let's flip the roles. Let's say you go to Mexico illegally, and you're an illegal immigrant of Mexico. Or you're an illegal immigrant of France or somewhere like that. This is kind of a non sequitur. Like, I don't think peaceful people should be punished just for crossing an imaginary line. Wherever it is that they're from and wherever it is that they're going. I don't think there should be immigration restrictions anywhere in the world. Like, changing the country involved doesn't change the core of the argument, which is that whether or not it is that peaceful people should be penalized just for crossing an imaginary line and not doing anything else. They find out you're illegal? They'll take your ass to fucking prison. It really depends on the country. For example, I know you mentioned France. Did you know that most European countries are actually fairly lenient when it comes to immigration? For example, Germany actually grants automatic citizenship to anyone seeking asylum. And you may never see the light of day again. So someone deserves to be a lifer for crossing an imaginary line, basically. You realize that's a stricter penalty than we give out for molesting children. Why can't we do that here? So, since you're a conservative, I'm assuming that you're going to be against socialized health care. Did you know that right now, you're making pretty much the exact same argument that liberals use to argue for socialized health care? I'm sure you've probably heard the argument that liberals make before, that every other developed nation has socialized health care. Why can't the United States have it? Well, socialized health care sucks, regardless of what other countries have it. And he's using that same bogus line of reasoning here to try and defend stricter border restrictions. You know? Hey. 
It will take their ass to prison. Not a U.S. prison. Take them back to their own country to their prison and deal with their country's punishment. Stop wasting our money. So you want Mexico to penalize Mexican citizens for violating U.S. law? The only way that can really work is if there's some sort of extradition treaty between the United States and Mexico, which as far as I'm aware there isn't. But even if sending Mexicans back to Mexico to be punished for crimes they committed in the U.S., even if that did somehow work, you'd still be wasting money because it would cost money to transport them back to Mexico, and I highly doubt Mexico is going to want to enforce our laws for free. I don't know how I can be any more clear on what I discuss with Ill illegal immigration. I don't understand how I can be any more clear. And I honestly, I don't know how this is being construed as racism. But I mean, trolls are going to run their mouths, I guess. You can say what you want. Those are my views. If you want to, to prove it to me, how it is racism, and explain to me how it is racism, you know, be my guest, but I don't see the racism. I'm well aware that advocating for border restrictions doesn't necessarily make somebody racist. I agree that those specific criticisms don't really hold much water. But what you have to understand is that there's a multitude of different criticisms being levied against border restrictions. For example, they violate freedom of movement. They're expensive to enforce. They inhibit free trade and commerce. Instead of just picking the low-hanging fruit, why not go after these more legitimate criticisms against border restrictions? Every single person I have talked to feels the exact same way I do. To a T, every single person I've talked to. People at work, my family, my friends, everybody. Maybe it's just the part of the country I'm in. Maybe it's the, the people I'm around. I don't know. Everybody I know feels that way. Every single person I know. They do not care about illegal immigrants. Well, this is the bandwagon fallacy, arguing that an idea is good because a lot of people agree with it. And given how uber conservative this guy is, I'd imagine that the reason he's hearing so many reaffirming opinions on this subject is that he mostly associates within conservative circles, thus isn't really hearing much of the dissenting opinion. I think this is very likely the case given that the only criticisms against border restrictions he's familiar with are those that claim racism. So to James or any other conservatives who happen to stumble upon this video, I would encourage you to watch Shane Killian's video how to argue for border restrictions. As Killian not only does an excellent job of explaining common misconceptions about immigration and issues with border restrictions, but he also does a good job of representing a variety of dissenting opinions against border restrictions, not just racism criticism. Illegal immigrants should have no rights. I don't give a fuck if they're coming from Mexico, Canada, Thailand, Prague. I don't give a fuck. South Africa, Madagascar, you have no fucking rights if you don't come here legally. Are you going to give us an explanation as to why that's the case? Or are we just supposed to take for granted that someone is less deserving of rights because they were born on the wrong side of a certain line? Like, please come forward and provide an actual substantive argument to back up your position. Because right now it seems like you're just doing what every conservative does about immigration. Just blind fear-mongering without any substantive argumentation to back it up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Philosopasa making stupidity play dead. Whatever side of the border you're on, have a good one.